Another Day, Another Book. Animal Farm is a renowned novella written by George Orwell, published in 1945. It serves as a scathing critique of the Russian Revolution and the subsequent rise of communism in the Soviet Union. Through the allegorical portrayal of a group of farm animals, Orwell presents a powerful narrative that explores themes of power, corruption, and the dangers of totalitarianism. Once upon a time, on a peaceful and prosperous farm known as Manor Farm, a wise and respected boar named Old Major called for a special meeting. All the animals, from the sturdy horses to the diligent chickens, gathered eagerly in the barn. Old Major, with his commanding presence, began to share a vision, a vision of a life free from the tyranny of their human oppressors. He spoke of a rebellion, a revolution where the animals would rise up against their human masters and establish a society where all animals were equal. Old Major ignited a spark of hope in the hearts of his fellow creatures as he outlined the principles of animalism, a philosophy that promoted fairness, justice, and cooperation. Inspired by Old Major's words, the animals eagerly awaited the opportunity to put his plan into action. But tragedy struck as Old Major passed away shortly after the meeting leaving the future of the revolution in the hands of the animals. Three pigs emerged as the natural leaders of the rebellion, Snowball, Napoleon, and Squealer. Snowball, a clever and eloquent pig, became the voice of reason, advocating for education and progress. Napoleon, on the other hand, possessed a shrewd demeanor and a hunger for power. Squealer, a persuasive and charismatic pig, had a knack for manipulating the truth. One fateful night, the animals' chance to seize control of the farm arrived. They rose up against the careless and neglectful farmer, Mr. Jones, forcing him and his workers to flee. The farm, now free from human oppression, was renamed, Animal Farm, and the animals rejoiced in their newfound freedom. To preserve the ideals of animalism, the animals established the Seven Commandments, encapsulating their values in a concise set of rules. The commandments were painted on the side of the barn for all to see, and the mantra, four legs good, two legs bad, echoed throughout the farm. Initially, the animals worked together harmoniously. They cultivated the land, collected food, and built a windmill, as envisioned by Snowball, to make their lives more comfortable. Snowball tirelessly taught the other animals to read and write, empowering them with knowledge. However, as time passed, tension began to brew between Snowball and Napoleon. They clashed over the future of the farm, with Snowball envisioning progress and technological advancements, while Napoleon harbored a thirst for dominance and absolute control. One day, during a heated debate over the windmill, Napoleon revealed his true intentions. He unleashed a pack of fierce dogs, which he had secretly trained, to chase Snowball off the farm. Snowball's expulsion marked a turning point as Napoleon seized absolute power, becoming the sole leader of Animal Farm. Under Napoleon's rule, the principles of animalism gradually eroded. The pigs, led by Napoleon and supported by Squealer's persuasive propaganda, began to exploit their fellow animals. They claimed special privileges, moved into the farmhouse, and indulged in luxuries while the others toiled tirelessly. The commandments, once sacrosanct, were twisted and altered to suit the pig's desires. The original mantra of equality, all animals are equal, eventually transformed into the chilling proclamation of, all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. As the pigs consolidated their power, the other animals grew disillusioned, yet they remained hesitant to challenge Napoleon's authority. Squealer skillfully manipulated information, convincing them that the pig's actions were necessary for the greater good of the farm. The once tireless and loyal workhorse, Boxer, embodied the spirit of Animal Farm. He worked relentlessly, always putting the needs of the farm before his own. However, his health began to deteriorate due to exhaustion. Despite his immense contribution, the pigs callously sent him off to a glue factory instead of providing him with the medical care he needed. The betrayal of Boxer shook the animals to their core, but fear and manipulation kept them from rebelling. The pigs continued their reign, forging alliances with neighboring human farms and even adopting human habits and behaviors. They walked on two legs, wore clothes, and dined with their former oppressors. In the end, the animals could no longer distinguish between the pigs and the humans they once despised. 
The farm they had fought so hard to liberate had transformed into a place where tyranny and inequality reigned. The dreams of a fair and just society had been shattered, replaced by a nightmare of corruption and deceit. As the animals looked upon their leaders, now indistinguishable from their former human masters, a deep sense of sorrow and regret washed over them. They realized the harsh reality that power corrupts, and those who seek it are often the ones who least deserve it. Animal Farm stands as a cautionary tale, a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked authority and the manipulation of ideals. It serves as a testament to the importance of remaining vigilant and holding those in power accountable. The animal's journey from hope to disillusionment serves as a powerful allegory, urging us to question the intentions of those who claim to fight for our freedom. Thanks for watching.